poor thing. <laughs> oh, and I'm so sorry. I could have taken holy. another day off. <laughs> holy mackerel, or should I say, holy sturgeon? Yeah. Look at my look at my scarf. It's like starting to crystallize, <gasps> you guys. It is so oh. freezing. Oh. And then your snot yes. starts to freeze, oh and then you God. can't talk anymore. Let me know if I'm okay, okay? okay? You look cute, though. <laughs> so well, perfect. I don't feel so cute. <laughs> We're joining you live from um, outside of the Paints Point Hook and Spear Club in the town of Nina. We're on Lake Winnebago where thousands of sturgeon spears are set to gather this weekend for the opening weekend of sturgeon spearing season. And I invited um, my good friend and sturgeon biologist Ron Brook with the DNR with us this morning. Hi, Ron. Good morning, Angela. So tell us why this is set to be such a great year for sturgeon spearing. Well, our sturgeon population is very robust. We've got a lot of, lot of fish and a lot of big fish. We were coming off a fantastic season last year with the record fish, the 212-pounder, and people are really juiced up. And you have sold a record amount of licenses this year. Right. We've uh, sold 12,423 licenses. That's up about 1,000, over 1,000 from last year. So the, the success of the program and the big fish, people are really, really excited about it. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about um, some factors that really play a role. One of them is water clarity. Mm -hmm. Explain how that plays a role in a successful season and what it's looking like. Well, right now the water clarity, you can see down about 13 feet over over most of the lake. And uh, when the water is cloudy, basically if the fish swims through, you just can't see it. You can't spear it. So the spear is always like a little bit clearer water. And it's not bad. And there's some areas you can see down maybe 15 feet or so. And so uh, it's, it's pretty good. We expect to see quite a few fish this weekend. And you've increased the harvest caps, meaning uh, people can get more fish, basically. Right. We've, uh, the, since the population has been improving and increasing, actually, over the last decade, that allowed us to increase the caps a little bit this year. We, we brought them up on the average about 7%. And uh, that, should, that should mean more spearing days for the people on the lake. And with a bigger population out there, there's a chance for some people to get some trophy-sized sturgeon. Oh, definitely. That big one last year was the first fish over 200 pounds ever in the harvest and since 1932. <clears throat> and we see fish bigger than that in the spring when we're tagging fish up at Shawano Dam. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see another one like that. Yeah, really, really cool. Well. What we're going to do next is we're going to talk with the folks from the Hook and Spear Club about how they've been getting the lake ready because they have to clear all these paths. So if you see right down here, it's all nice and clear of snow on the lake. But really, in some areas, this is how deep and tall the snow is. So you can imagine these spears who are heading out trying to find a good spot this is what they're going to be battling with. And the folks at the Hook and Spear Club will have some tips on that coming up in our next hour. I'm going to go inside now and take a bath in some hot chocolate. Back to you. <laughs> All right, Angela. Go get warm. Go get warm. And actually, I, I want to talk to Doug because, oh, yeah. Doug, why don't you just tell us how cold it is because I'm pretty sure I'm losing function of my lips. <laughs> so this is the fun part. Uh, it is extremely cold right now, but it's going to be warmer for the fishermen. So we just stuck you out in the coldest weather possible. And, and, and as soon as sturging spearing opens on Saturday, temperatures will actually be milder. We're well below zero. I think minus 14 was the latest temperature we had. Uh, on Saturday morning, we'll start off, though, at 17 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies, a couple of flurries. If you watch the pressure while fishing, it looks like the pressure is going to start to fall off in the afternoon, that usually leads to better fishing. What about on Sunday? Well, on Sunday, we're expecting some light snow. Morning temperature for around 24, afternoon high of 33, and pressure will start to be on the rise during the afternoon hours. So that's a quick look at the sturgeon forecast.